15 years ago today, crime tape stretched across another college campus, Northern Illinois University. A gunman opened fire there on Valentine's Day in 2008, killing five people. CBS 2's Sarah Maki live at the campus for us tonight in DeKalb, where victims are being remembered right now. Sarah? That's right. Flowers, wreaths, plaques, a memorial. These are all signs of what happened here 15 years ago. This was already going to be a big banner year for the people who lived through this, a milestone anniversary. But they say watching everything that happened at Michigan State yesterday brought up a memory of something that happened all too recently. Five bells told just after three. The exact moment 15 years ago when a gunman killed five Northern Illinois University students and injured another 17. Standing along the engraved names of the dead, survivors, including Patrick Corellis. Feels like yesterday what happened. Um, it's hard every year, uh, but I, I come back to see the families again and see some of the other survivors that went through the same thing. Here's what we presume is the area where the shooting took place. And Valentine's Day 2008, a former student killed Catalina Garcia, Juliana Gahant, Ryan Mace, Daniel Parmenter, and Gail Dubowski before turning the gun on himself. Once you have experienced something like this, you're never the same. Now NIU Police Chief Darren Mitchell responded to that shooting and Monday fielded calls about another tragedy. His cousin was locked down in her dorm at Michigan State University. So it hits differently because it happened at another university. It happened the day before our 15 year anniversary. It's just another constant reminder that we must be vigilant. This school adopted a mantra after their own tragedy. Forward, together forward. And they say that sentiment now extends to a new class of mass shooting survivors. My most important thing for them to know is that they're not alone. Uh, We'll get through it together, obviously, and we're all connected, and you just have to find the resources and know that I'm one of the resources for them. The university says that they held a much bigger ceremony ten, at the 10-year anniversary, but have since really started to scale back, and that was at the request of the family members. They say that there were about 100 people here today, much of the student body here just entering kindergarten when that shooting happened. Reporting tonight, Sarah Maki, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Sarah.